All right, uh, let's take you back to the story. We were on the ground uh, near Rustenburg earlier, but the sound wasn't great. The municipality in Rustenburg in the northwest has dispatched a disaster management team to the Paderkral Dam after the dam wall collapsed following heavy rain. Residents of Paderkral, Sunrise Park, Popomolefe and Boitekong outside Rustenburg have been warned not to cross any bridges in the area. They are already underwater. Our uh, correspondent, uh, Tabojo Pakedi, is 20 kilometers downstream. Uh, Tabojo, we couldn't hear you earlier. Just tell us what you're seeing and what people are experiencing right now. Thank you so much, Francis. Uh, good evening to you. And of course, SABC News viewers, we are um, currently at the Hags River, that is uh, 20 kilometers downstream from uh, the Par de Kral Dam. If uh, my colleague in Duduzon Kosi can just show you how powerful uh, this stream is. And of course, this is just south from uh, the dam. We are told by the municipality that the wall, as you mentioned on your intro, they collapsed earlier today and of course several rivers nearer to the dam have been uh, submerged but I can just show you if I can show you this plant that is seemingly just blocking the water that is coming from the dam and of course as we are told by the municipality this is seemingly you know blocking this river but we are told that the situation at the moment is quite better than earlier on but to just talk to the municipality I've got with me uh, Tapelo Matebesi thank you so much for joining us. As the municipality, you said earlier on warning residents that several rivers are submerged and, you know, warning of their safety. Can you confirm that at this point there is still no fatalities reported as the municipality said earlier on? In, indeed, that is the case, my sister. Um, up to now, there are no fatalities uh, that are recorded. There is no one who has lost his or her life, and we are delighted about that. There is no reported damage of property whatsoever, uh, except to say that we are still cautious, very, very cautious at the municipality. We want to own our people. We want to issue a stern warning to our people not to try to cross rivers such as this one, bridges such as this one, the lying bridges. Um, because as we can see, if, if this current is this strong, what about in the morning uh, when it started? when we learned of this distressing news about the collapse of the Pardekra Dam wall, we then immediately dispatched our disaster management team to rush to the scene to investigate and issue an incident report, which they immediately did. And indeed, it was found that um, the Pardekra Dam wall has collapsed, which is about down 20 kilometers downstream of this Hex River that we, you see crossing the two communities of Pardekral and Popomole for informal settlement. Yeah, you want resident that they should not, you know, cross these rivers. But if my colleague uh, Nduduzo can just show you of a car that has just crossed this river, what is it that the municipality is doing? Because we've seen here, if a viewer can see just on the screen, residents crossing this river from Popomolefe to Pardekral, Popomolefe human in, um, informal settlement, and of course other cars are crossing. What are you going to do as the municipality to ensure their safety because these villages are connecting yes as i indicated earlier we have dispatched our disaster management team 24 hours uh, the day shift started their shift this morning and uh, the evening shift will be many this post we are posting personnel one body here um, even tonight overnight for them to control to take charge to take control of this bridge here so that small children as you see anybody else pedestrians motorists do not cross do not take chances to cross this river because it's dangerous it may be dangerous for anybody yeah if we, we see this strong river hex river such strong water flowing from the dam one can imagine what is happening just by the dam are there at least a few meters um residents households that are just next to the dam there Fortunately, by God's grace, not. Um, these are the nearest uh, uh, communities. That is the community of Popomole for informal settlement, the Paragral community, the Sunrise Park community, uh, the Mfidikwe community. Uh, these are the nearest uh, communities, which we are talking about 25 kilometers approximately from the actual Paragram Delwom that has collapsed. So there are no immediately 
uh, immediate adjacent communities. So that is by, gra by God's grace. Otherwise, the, 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 the consequences uh, would, be, would, be, would be dire. I want us to confirm whose them is that because earlier on we understood that it was below it belongs to a mine but of course there were there was a correction thereafter. Is that them belonging to government or any of the mines in the northwest? No, no, not at all. The dam does not belong to any of the mining houses or mining company around, no. Um, as for the actual ownership of the dam, we are yet to confirm the ownership. We are still verifying as to whether it is the national department, provincial department or local authority. Uh, but no, no, it does not belong to any of the mine, mining houses, mining company either. Thank you so much. That was um, Tapelo Matebesi, that is spokesperson of the Rustenburg Local Municipality. I just want to talk to one of uh, the residents, that is uh, Tembi Nobela, one of the residents who was here earlier on when the stream just started flowing to uh, this uh, Par de Graal area. Thank you so much, Tembi. If you may just uh, step here, if we may just uh, speak to you, uh, Tembi, you told us earlier on that this is nothing compared to what you saw earlier on. Just tell us what you saw. Excel <laughs> Because there are other villages that side. As the community, you said earlier on that you are worried about your safety. Yes, I see worried because banana pila ba fita fa. So recuperate two so because banana ba good dangerous. Look on ano, we seem to go little dangerous. How is it safe for banana banga kona go fita fa? That is Tembi Nobela, one of the residents here in Par de Graal, where we understand as confirmed by the municipality that earlier on a wall dam collapsed. That is uh, the Par de Graal dam. The municipality is saying there that the dam does not belong to any mine, but of course to one uh, government department, which he says they are about to confirm which department that is. But you can imagine the danger that these streams are causing to the residents of Par, Par de Graal and of course nearby areas such as Sunrise, Buitikong and uh, so forth as they are saying that they are quite concerned about the safety, particularly of um, residents. When you see just behind me up there is uh, Popomulefe informal settlement and where we are Francis is part of the Graal um, village. They are saying that they are quite concerned about their safety but this is the stance here in the northwest. Of course no one has been uh, you know, announced dead or injured. They are saying that there has been no fatalities but but I can tell you that this stream here is quite powerful. You can imagine what is happening just closer to the dam where we will be traveling from here. That is 20 kilometers from where we are at the moment, Francis. All right, thank you very much uh, for that update. A huge cause for concern indeed, looking at that water, Tabojo Pakedi, uh, from close to Rustenburg. Uh, the